I think there are so many young people who are driven to play perfectly. When you listen to recordings of, of, of the old times, it wasn't always perfect, but it, it was feeling Unbelievable. and it was beautiful. What would your but, advice be to the young today? It's so competitive. You go to a competition. You play. You have to play perfectly. Right. Um, how do you become that musician you were just describing before? I keep reading articles where at major universities and conservatories, people are starting to realize uh, because so many unbelievably gifted musicians, not, not kind of gifted or sort of talented, but really at the highest level, end up sometimes having a difficult time just establishing a career. You can point to various things with certain individuals, but sometimes it's just the times that they're living in. Now that there are fewer critics at the papers, somebody, I've seen this a thousand times in New York, where somebody gives an amazing concert and there's no review. And it's not even that they didn't want to review it, that they might want to review it, but there's just not enough people and not enough space. And that takes, uh, if you're uh, we're coming along in uh, 2008 and the recession hit, you know, economics play a role in all these things. So this is just luck of the, your era. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, who knows what would have happened to Vladimir Horowitz right now, that that, mm -hmm. They, they might have said, too difficult, too complicated, too... Uh, crazy. Cra too crazy. Mrs. Notes, or the repertoire is too narrow. We, we want to... His Bach isn't perfect. You know, his Bach was amazing, but it was not uh, Glenn Gould. It was something else. And uh, I remember he told Andros Schiff, I can't rem remember the fugues. Or Horowitz had an amazing memory, but maybe this was place was difficult for him. So well, we've lost one of the greatest voices in the world. And I think sometimes we do lose those voices uh, because people are looking for a kind of machine mm -hmm. and, and reliability in, in, a, in the business model uh, is very important. So I think that if you're going to go out into the world, you're going to, you, you have to know just at the outset uh, that it's going to be uh, complicated and difficult and it won't be easy uh, at best to make a living. So if that's the case, uh, I think having the attitude uh, of uh, I, I'm going to be who I am and play with my voice and and if that doesn't work, well then that doesn't work. But trying to use someone else's voice or please other people, it surely will not work. In the end, you, you just will sound like a lot of other people. But really do, you know, obviously, I'm uh, talking about you still seek to be the best musician you can. You still seek to play some artistry. But I remember Alexis Weissenberg talking about, uh, said some pianist came and played, but he said it sounded like a pig, but the guy was like, this is who he was, and it was, it was so compelling because it was, he was who he was. And, you know, again, I come back to Rudolf Serkin, who I thought was a divine pianist, who could absolutely smash uh, a wrong chord going for something because he would go for it but the the the, the spirit the the human spirit that came through in that playing and even today that comes through in those recordings uh, i think that that's what you i think that's the goal mm -hmm. and uh to to do anything less i don't I mean why are you doing it